Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures where we're here in New York City for Charlotte's first visit. I've never been before, I'm so excited to have a good look around. Yeah, we're going to have an action-packed sightseeing day, starting off with some awesome views of the Statue of Liberty. Charlotte's never seen it yeah, before. Yeah, I've never seen it, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in person. It's quite iconic, isn't it, it here is, in uh, yeah. New York to see the Statue of Liberty. Along with that, we're going to check out Times Square, we'll have a look at the Empire State Building. Uh, we're going to just pack in as much as we can do. We've got one day to enjoy the city. Of course, at the end of our huge USA road trip that we've done over on Theme Park Worldwide. And here on this channel, you've seen all the different travel vlogs in between. So let's get started. We're going to actually head over on a free ferry shortly uh, to get some awesome views of the Statue of Liberty. But first, let's have a look at it from a distance. Oh, and it's a beautiful day for doing some sightseeing here in New York at the end of our trip. And there it is in the distance, the Statue of Liberty. Look at that. It's always amazing to see it. Such an icon here in New York. And yeah, we're actually going to head over much closer so we can get some better views from on another ferry. Now, you may remember, last time I was here four years ago, I went on this ferry, what everyone's queuing for just here. And yeah, we were going to do that. In fact, I was just about to book it. And Charlotte was like, hang on a minute, like $70 for that. Like, that's a lot. Like, we haven't got as much time really in the city. We want to go and see other things. Like, I don't need to go up that close or go into it. I just want to see it from a distance. Well, I was doing a bit of research after Charlotte said that. And I found that we can actually go on the Staten Island Ferry for free. Yeah, like, I don't mind that. As long as you can get, like, close. I don't want to go into it or anything. Yeah, so we're going to get on the uh, Staten Island Ferry, which actually takes you across cross right in front of it and then we can take that back so yeah uh, we're gonna make our way around that and of course we'll get some close-up views because if we go right past it um, on that ferry but so yeah I did this tour last time that I was here and yeah it was fantastic but it was about four or five hours in total getting the ferry over walking around the island uh, and then actually going up Statue of Liberty itself um, so yeah we thought we've got limited time and Charlotte was quite happy doing this so we're going with this option see it is, you don't get the good view if you're inside it do you, you no can, it's you true you standing outside of it to see it if I'm inside of it I can't see it let's see your impression of the Statue of Liberty then oh yeah that's fantastic well I'm sure we'll see that again in Times Square right let's make our way to the Staten Island free ferry and the area of New York where we are is known as Battery Park just here and yeah more down in the financial district in fact there's One World Trade Center went to the top of there last time when I was here in New York four years ago I can't believe it everything that's happened in four years it's great to be back here in New York City. Well, yeah, let's look at it from a distance. And actually, in fact, once we've done this ferry, we're going to walk up to that area and have a look around the World Trade Center site. Oh, the sights, the sounds, and the smells of New York. You've got the hot dog stalls, you've got the sirens in the distance. And yeah, here's a look at the Staten Island Ferry entrance just over here. So yeah, let's go make our way inside. And like I say, this is completely free. We'll wait about five minutes because they run every 15 minutes at the moment. Completely free of charge to go on here. And along with that, it runs 24 hours a day as well. Let's make our way on. As you can see, the ferry is absolutely huge. Look at this, all the seats. Yeah, you've got like, the open balconies over on this side. And already, the views are nice. It's a Statue of Liberty from here, but of course you want to see it closer. Oh, helicopter coming over. Yeah, let's get in position. And just a couple of minutes after boarding, and we've departed the station over at Battery Park. Already some fantastic views. Looking out at New York City, there's the Brooklyn Bridge off to the right there. And the skyline of New York's fantastic from on here. I've got to say, it is brilliant how this is a free service as well. Oh wow. It doesn't real, does it? Stunning to see. And there's World, One World Trade Center right there. And there we are leaving Manhattan behind what a fantastic view we're going to get a much closer view of the Statue of Liberty in just a moment and here we go there she is beautiful like Charlotte said just a few minutes ago you really can appreciate her beauty from just off the island here. Actually looks better from a distance. That's the whole point of it, isn't it? You want to see it from a distance. Yeah, you don't definitely. Want to be in it. I mean it was great going in there four years ago, but with us having limited time. I can see it from here. Yeah, this has worked out great. What a fantastic view. Thank 
Oh, what a fantastic view. Actually, I'm much closer than I was expecting here on the Staten Island Ferry. Fantastic, free of charge. You can't say that very often. You know me, we do like a good bargain. And free's even better. Fantastic. Beautiful lady. Oh, I tell you what, you get some very different views from here on the Staten Island Ferry. Of course, you get the skyline of New York City off to the right, and the Statue of Liberty there on the left too. All in the same shot. Beautiful. Big cruise ship just over there, yeah, the cruise terminal. And we're approaching Staten Island now. It was good timing with the announcement. <laughs> and yeah, you got the big suspension bridge just over there in the distance too. Really impressive. Some fantastic views from on here. And about 20 minutes later, we're pulling into the Staten Island ferry terminal just here. Worth pointing out, everybody does need to get off. And then, of course, make your way back round to board the next available one, heading back to New York. And we've just made it off the ferry, and if you make it round quick enough, of course, you'll get back on that same one, heading back towards New York City. And yeah, we've made it back round here. Should be boarding again in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, really nice and easy, and completely free of charge. And back on the ferry then now, heading towards New York City. And there you go, you get a fantastic view of the skyline, and the Statue of Liberty just off to the left there as well. And there she is again, off to the left hand side. Yeah, more of that skyline coming into view just here now. Quite a bit of smoke in the air today because of the Canadian wildfires. Yeah, now a few weeks ago it got really bad in New York when we was in another part of America. Yeah, it seems to be coming back now down here. So yeah, there was an air quality warning today, hence why it looks a bit smoggy in the air. First time seeing the Statue of Liberty for oh, you, Charlotte. I really enjoyed seeing that. I'd rather see it from a distance instead of on the land around it because you're going to be looking up. Yeah. If you're further back, you can take it in. I mean, I think it's a great experience doing both, but that was definitely great for free. And also, as well, uh, with us having limited time today, that was perfect. It's 12 o'clock, and that whole process took less than an hour, and we got some fantastic views, which was great. Anyway, we're now making our way up towards One World Trade Center. Have a little look around there, and uh, yeah, see some of the sights along the way. Nice fountain just over there as we make our way through the financial districts of New York City. And yeah, it's only about a 20 minute walk from where we were at the ferry terminal up towards One World Trade Center. And yeah, we'll also have a look at the 9-11 Memorial Fountains just up there too. And you've also got the Charging Bull just over there as well. Very popular photo opportunity for people, a big sight to see down here. And yeah, everyone's queuing up for a photo all the way down the street over there, Charlotte. Here's to go to Birmingham to the ball ring, you wouldn't have to queue to have a photo with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, that uh, symbolises the financial district and Wall Street as well. You can see why they call it the concrete jungle, can't you? Like, and that's the thing, it's a lovely sunny day, but yeah, you can't really tell when you're down here because you've got all the buildings towering over. Cabs look a lot different now than when I was last here as well. They've all been updated. I didn't really notice at first until Charlotte said. I noticed because they're a lot bigger though. I thought there was a lot smaller. Yeah, like in the movies, what you see. And, and they were like that, but yeah, they've changed them now. I'm not too sure if they're electric or not, probably. So it's not too long to walk down to here at all. Welcome to the World Trade Center in New York City. And look at this here. This section we're in now is actually the Westfield Shopping Center. Look at the architecture in here, like, it's very mesmerizing. When I show you it up there, you can't really get the scale of it. 
And you see all the people down there at the bottom. Charlotte's been greedy. She's got two Starbucks on the go here. They're not both mine. What is this? What are you going for there? Oh, my usual strawberry kind of pressure. I'm going to walk around New York with your Starbucks. There oh, we go. Which is right, I've gone for my uh, strawberry and cream frappuccino just down there, too. Yeah, look at this in here. And here's a look at the outside of the Oculus building just there. Look at this fair opportunity out here with the statues. I love that. How amazing is this? It's got the elephant there, the hippo, the gorilla, <laughs> the lions, giraffe, the rhino, all on bikes. I mean, how awesome is that? And there's a look at One World Trade Center. And of course, just down here below it, the 9-11 Memorial. Saw this for the first time round here four years ago, and yeah, just that feeling again when you come back and see it. Of course, very sad. September the 11th, 2001. And yeah, this is actually where the south tower of the Twin Towers stood, and the north tower just on the other side of the September the 11th museum, which is just there in the middle. And yeah, it's uh, an experience going into the museum, very sad very touching when you go in something like that however I would definitely recommend doing it if you are coming here to New York and yeah it's located in this building here and yeah around the side you've got all the names of the people that sadly passed away Yeah, it makes you really quite sad and emotional, doesn't it, coming around here? You and... feel it in your heart, don't you, when you come around here? You do feel, like, really emotional. Oh, it's so sad. really sad. But what they've done around here with all the names and with the fountains, and, yeah, like, it, it's a really nice way of kind of remembering all these people that did sadly pass away during the awful terrorist attack. And, of course, they built back with One World Trade Center there, a fantastic observatory at the top there of course all the offices inside there too and uh, yeah the view from the top is fantastic and it's a beautiful building it really is you can see a full tour of the one world observatory on this channel from four years ago when i first came down here to new york and i also went into the museum as well and filmed the tour and you can see that on this channel in the new york playlist back when the channel was called adventure sean Yeah, if you come into New York, it's definitely a must to come around here and kind of pay your respects and come and see it all. It's very sad, but they built back and it's a nice space around here, all the landscaping, all the trees. And of course, where the Twin Towers once stood. And just a short walk away is where the North Tower once stood and you've got the memorial here. Yeah, this is closest to the new One World Trade Centre which is absolutely huge, isn't it? Look at that, towering above New York City. And yeah, as you can see, the waterfalls are off here on this memorial at the moment. I think they're actually doing some maintenance work by the looks of it. There was a little boat down here just when we walked past. 
Well, of course, we couldn't come to New York without having a look down here and paying our respects at the 9-11 memorial. It is really sad, isn't it, when you come down here? I mean, when you come down here and you see all the names around there, it's just so upsetting for something that should never have happened. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, yeah, if you are coming here to New York, come and pay your respects, come and have a look around here. And, yeah, like I say, the museum, um, it is a very upsetting experience in there. However, it is definitely worth doing and to pay your respects and, of course, um, just learn a bit more about everything that happened here. It is really, really sad and very touching. It's one of the most emotional things uh, I've ever done going in that museum. But uh, anyway, onwards and upwards with our visit here to New York. We're actually going to head onto the subway system now and we're going to make our way up towards Times Square, Rockefeller and have a look all around that area. Some gift shops as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. Well, here's another view with the new One World Trade Center there just behind us. Look at that. It's such a beautiful day here in New York City. Let's go. Here it is, the New York subway. Always on the subway for about 15 minutes there and we've arrived down here by Pennsylvania Station and the Empire State Building. Oh, there it is. Where's King Kong now? Oh, there you go, the Empire State Building just up there. Iconic. Also worth pointing out with the subway, you can just use a contactless bank card to tap on. And yeah, you don't need to tap off. You just walk straight out the turnstiles and like we did just there as well. You only tap to actually go through the barrier or you can buy paper tickets if you want to. Croc shop just over there. Do you want to go inside? We can if you want. Yeah, why not? And also, we've got Macy's just over here. Wouldn't be New York without the sirens, would it? <laughs> yeah, Macy's department store. Just off to the left over here, very iconic. Oh, here we go, look at this. You actually get like, the street traffic patrol just out in the middle here, just directing cars. And it gets busy. Wow, he came fast, fast on that. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> oh, New York, everybody. Yeah, Madison Square Garden is just around the corner over there. Very famous. Yeah, you can just see the sign actually, just for it. Just off to the right over there. And we're inside the croc shop now. And yeah, look at this wall there, made out of crocs. It's the Statue of Liberty, how awesome is that? Look how small these are. That's awesome, you get more of an idea on the scale of that if you come further back. I had to drag Charlotte out of there, she was going to get another pair of crocs. They had yellow ones, it so nice. <laughs> Here's the Statue of Liberty for you. Hey, I love New York just behind there. Loads of gift shops down here. And yeah, just opposite, there's a look at Macy's, the world's largest store all the way across here west 34th street in new york yeah macy's the biggest shop anywhere in the world it's massive and yeah i think he says that actually on the corner around there from what i remember yeah it is huge isn't it it's not quite as grand and luxurious on the outside as maybe harrods is in london but yeah still it's a bit of an icon to come and see here in new york here we go charlotte they got our favorite shop just here hollister here I am. <laughs> hey <laughs> Right, let's get a look inside Macy's. Here we are then inside Macy's. Just thought I'd start off by showing you this. Wooden escalators. You don't get many of these around here. Look at this. So here's a look inside Macy's. Yeah, it's not quite as glamorous as you'd expect it, really. I mean, it's nice and modern in here, but yeah, it's not kind of like posh like Harry's, is it, back in London? Very different to what you'd expect. And yeah, they've actually got like lots of different other food outlets and that sort of thing in here. It's like you've got all your clothes here, and there's like a McDonald's just over there. Like, literally, the Golden Arch, just off to the right, which is really fascinating. I'll tell you what they have still got here, though. <laughs> Toys R Us, there's Jeffrey the giraffe. I love the giraffe. <laughs> what were you doing to him then? Poor, poor Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Toys R Us. Oh, that's a logo I haven't seen for ages. I did read online though. Is Toys R Us coming back to the UK? It's supposed to be. Yeah, I think it could be. Toys R Us. You got the Lego Statue of Liberty there too. Oh, this is awesome. They've actually built the exterior of the Macy's department store out of Lego bricks. There's the logo. And yeah, they've got the Macy's parade going on just down there. What happens on Thanksgiving Day every year? That's cool, that. 
Oh, All the floats just down there. That is awesome. Big turkey just there, look. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, every year I tend to watch it on YouTube because obviously you can't really watch it in the UK on TV or anything. But uh, yeah, it's a big thing over here in the States. And uh, yeah, I love watching it on YouTube every year. We got lightning rod just over here. <laughs> yeah. It's a great isn't it? Yeah, it's Hot Wheels. So you can get all your clothes just over here and then grab a large fries and a bit flurry right next door. There you go. Only in America. They're not all wooden escalators, only the ones that are upstairs. And yeah, here's the big beauty section down here, the world's largest store. It's absolutely massive in here. Back outside then now of Macy's, and there's the sign, the world's largest store. Loads of shops around here, Foot Locker, H&M, all sorts. And of course, the Empire State Building, over there too. Iconic, isn't it? And here we are right at the bottom of the Empire State Building. We're not going to be heading up here today. However, I did film a video four years ago, back when the channel was Adventure Sean. So check it out if you haven't already seen it. It's one of those though, actually it was a lot more impressive from further away or up one of the other observation decks. And yeah, we're actually going to be visiting a new observation deck that I've never done before. It only opened a couple of years ago here in New York. And that's going to be the next video coming up and the final video from this trip. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Yeah, the observatory is great. And of course it's very iconic. And yeah, you enter just over on that side. Loads of shops around here. Oh, Lint chocolate, oh. love Lint. Oh, it tastes so good. So we continue on down this way with our tour around New York. I spent quite a lot of time in New York over the past kind of four years. You know, wow, I've had three visits since I, well, this is my fourth time here. Um, so yeah, it's nice to uh, just be back here. And I know it quite well now. The areas to walk around, the areas to get the subway. I love just walking around these big cities though. Fantastic, just exploring and taking it all in. Well, yeah, there's another look up at the Empire State Building. Oh, well, we're having a great tour around New York. Are you enjoying it, Charlotte? Yeah, really nice. Getting to see all the sights. Like your personal tour guide I just uh, taking you around. I do this every time I go to a big city, even like London back home. I'm like, right, let's go for a tour get around. A plan hey, get a fun together, get it on me notes on my phone. Oh, but here we go. We're walking down Fifth Avenue now. Of course, you've got all your hop on, hop off bus tours that you can do here. First, I prefer walking around on foot. However, I have done one of those before in London. Loads of gift shops and all sorts as we make our way down Fifth Avenue here. Now New York is actually very easy to navigate because yeah, you've got the streets that go across and the avenues that go long ways throughout Manhattan. So yeah, it's very easy. You can just walk down all the avenues. You can go for miles. Of course, the streets go across. So yeah, it's actually really easy to work out if you are coming here and you've never been before. This building's absolutely everywhere. Sometimes you get like the little park areas like here on the left, and that's when you get a bit of sun coming down here onto the street. But in general, you don't really get loads of sun kind of walking around because you've got all the high rise buildings. Yeah, we're getting onto the main part of Fifth Avenue just down here. Probably one of the world's most famous shopping streets. Loads of shops and yeah, loads of posh boutiques down here. And walking down Fifth Avenue, you get a great view looking at the Chrysler building just there as well. Stunning architecture, look at the top of that. There's the NYPD, traffic patrol just there, keeping everything moving. And they got the little whistles as well. Yeah, look at the buildings just up there. Such a variety in New York, they say, like all the modern buildings and some of the older architecture as well. Fantastic. We're actually just heading down East 42nd Street now, down towards Grand Central. Let's go and have a look in there. It's only about a five minute walk off Fifth Avenue down here to Grand Central Terminal. And there's the Chrysler building just behind it there as well. Never actually been in here before, so yeah, I thought we'd come and check it out this time. Let's come and have a look. It's like Grand Central. More than 50 different movies and TV programs have been filmed in here over the years. And over 20 million people a year come and visit Grand Central. Wow, look at this in here, absolutely incredible. Yeah, so many movies have been filmed here. Superman, Men in Black, Armageddon, I Am Legend. Definitely didn't read that off Google. <laughs> what do you think to this in here, Charlotte? This is impressive, isn't it? It is, yeah, never seen it in person before. Though it's worth coming off for walking to here. Massive. US flag up there. Oh, wow. This is quite something. Look at the chandeliers as well. It's just the size of it in here. This is incredible. 
shows how much there is to do in New York. I was here for a full week and didn't even get a chance to come down here and see it. Wow. This has got to be one of the best train stations ever inside here. This massive hall with all the lights in here, all the paintings on the ceilings too. And look at the clock just in the middle there for the info booth. We're doing well, it's only three o'clock. We've seen loads already on our bumper sightseeing tour of New York. On our final day in America after a one month trip. Well, Grand Central was really impressive in there, wasn't it? Oh, that was absolutely brilliant in there. Like the massive atrium and all the chandeliers in there, fantastic and well worth seeing. It was a five minute walk off Fifth Avenue just here. And here's something that you don't really see back home. Like, look at this, all the ventilation systems. Yeah, coming from underground, like the subway system. It's quite interesting when you come here for the first time and see it all. He's really interested. <laughs> Look at all the flags just up here on the outside of Saks on Fifth Avenue, big department store. Yeah, they do a massive Christmas display on here that I'd love to come and see one year. And of course, right opposite is Rockefeller. Very famous, especially during the festive season for the big ice skating rink and the huge Christmas tree that sits right over there. And we'll go and have a look over there in just a moment. But yeah, we've got Saks just here on this side. But yeah, there's Rockefeller. I've been up to the top of there onto the observation deck and I would say that's the best view that you can get of New York City. Much better up there than One World Trade Center and also as well the Empire State Building because you're looking at those. However, I'm very excited to do the new observation deck shortly too and we're going to be doing that later on and that'll be the next and final video from the trip. Yeah, and that's the outside of Saks just there. Just crossed over the road. Lots of barriers and police around here. I'm not too sure if some filming's going on or something. And here we go. Welcome to Rockefeller. All the plaza area around here. So if you come during the holiday season, the big Christmas tree that you've all seen photos of, I'm sure many of you have probably been here and seen it. Stands right at the bottom here. Apparently the tree wasn't very good though last year. I remember reading that online. Skinny, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't very bushy. I mean, you want a nice bushy tree, don't you? You know, yeah, fantastic. And here you go. This is where the famous New York ice skating ring goes. And yeah, as you can see, the roller skating at the moment, and the Christmas tree just goes over at the back there. So we just asked someone and found out why there's such a high police presence and lots of it's barriered off, haven't we? Joe Biden's walking about, the hey. US president. <laughs> there you go, what about that? Yeah. Uh, literally, he's down there somewhere apparently. And yeah, this is why there's such a big police presence all the way around here, the NYPD. And yeah, double barrier blocked off. Maybe he's been to NBC News just over there because the studio is literally on this corner. Normally you can walk over here and you can see the studio through the windows. But obviously it's all blocked off here at the moment because the president's here. Well, I've been waiting around a little bit to see if we could catch a glimpse of Joe Biden and we haven't seen him yet, have we? It's cool, that isn't it? Yeah. That he's here while we are. <laughs> he might be in the toy shop just yeah. over here. Here we go, look at this. <laughs> Got my new friend just over here, the one and only Gary the Gorilla, everybody. It's much like Hamlet in here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a great shop in here, but yeah, it reminds me of Hamlet in London so much, it really does. And out the window just here, we can see this street all blocked off. And you know, these cars just here, all waiting to pick up Joe Biden, who's inside that building right now. And he's just finished doing an NBC News live broadcast. So yeah, we might get a glimpse of him, you never know. It's worth lingering about. It's not every day you get the chance to possibly see a US president. Who's this over here? Isn't this particular place? He's really nice. Hey, I like him, he's so nice. <laughs> Getting me excited for a Greg sausage roll here. <laughs> There's a real buzz in the area around here with Joe Biden's visit. I'm going to start to show you this is where the Christmas tree actually goes here at Rockefeller Center. So yeah, they take this out and that's where it goes. Oh, where he stood. <laughs> and just around the corner, that's the entrance to the top of the rock observation deck. And yeah, like I said, I've covered that before on this channel. And yeah, NBC Studios all around here. Jimmy Fallon, he does his show around here. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Got nothing against the guy, but yeah, he's right at Universal. Oh, blimey. 
<laughs> yeah, there's such a big security and police presence around here. Of course, there's going to be. The US president is literally in them studios right now. And there's Radio City tonight. Sold out show is Diana Ross. Sold out. And look just there at the Radio City Music Hall. And there we go. That's why Jimmy Fallon does the Tonight Show. Look at this big police presence around here. I mean, even if we don't get to see him, it's cool to see all this, isn't it? Like, we're literally within, what, a few hundred feet of the US president. Look at him in the bus. Look at this, we've got the NYPD police yeah. bus coming down here. Like, look at this. So basically, we've walked around the other side because we think the actual president's car well, is parked up, down, yeah, parked up down here. This is really interesting, they're all going. It's all happening literally down that street there. We're around the other side of where we were just now. Oh, it's all happening down here. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to block the road off. Even though there's a lot of traffic coming down. So I'd imagine they won't be blocking it for too long. So maybe he's going to be coming out shortly. <laughs> Look at this crazy. What's it expected this today? What a little bonus. It's our day in New York. So we've been waiting about 10 minutes here so far. And yeah, the sanitation trucks are moving out of the way. Oh, look at the police presence down there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I reckon these were here. It's like a safety kind of protection from the street down there, like a bit of a, a battering ram just in case. <laughs> here we go, the convoy begins. What a convoy, look at this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I've never seen so many police cars. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at this. It keeps on going. And that's what happens when the US president comes to New York, right there. Well, I can't believe it. We might have missed out on King Dakar this trip down at Six Flags Great Adventure, but we've just seen the US president. I was not expecting to see the US president today. Well, that was amazing. Like, what an experience. Like, we've spent like 45 minutes having a little walk around, and then, yeah, we just got to see him there in the vehicle. Absolutely that awesome, was worth that. The wait. It was. Like, how exciting. Just everybody around, having a good time, like the atmosphere. It's pretty oh, cool. Oh, brilliant that was. I've never seen such a police presence, oh, you no, know. I've never seen so many cars. But, yeah, there he was. I didn't think we'd actually be able to see him. I thought the windows would be blacked we out, but there we go. I don't know how well it picked up on the camera for you all, but yeah, it was in that left car. Obviously, there was two with the US flags on, but uh, fantastic that was. What an experience. We've seen the US President Joe Biden here in New York City. How about that? What a nice little cameo in this vlog. There we go. I was not expecting that today. Absolutely fantastic. He's just made the trip for us. That was right at the end. Can't believe it. And what a massive operation as well. Like, there was literally hundreds, possibly even thousands of police officers I've around here. I've never seen so many. Like, in those black cars, they had all the bodyguards, like, big guns, and, like, all the face covered. I've never seen anything like it. I never felt so safe in one area, to be honest. <laughs> like, my whole life, like, just standing so there. So much police presence. Uh, oh, but what well, amazing just to see that. That was brilliant, that was. Like, absolutely amazing. Like, just to see the US president. No matter who that president would have been at the time, just to see a US president, like, that's just incredible, isn't it? What an amazing experience. There we go, we've seen Joe Biden and he's featured here on the Sandbrook Adventures. There you go. We flew him in because we're nearly on 100k. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing on down Fifth Avenue for a little bit, and yeah, we'll be making our way down towards Times Square shortly. 
course we'll see it in daylight hours and also at night as well where it really comes alive yeah, quite a few of these new buildings have gone up over the past few years kind of thin tower blocks not so sure how i feel about those yeah loads of different shops down here you got burberry just over there i thought they were handbags not rubber rings but there you go look at all them in the window just there there's a little look at the summer display what we got there canada goose next door yeah loads of other popular stores so yeah what we're going to do is carry on walking for about another five minutes or so down here just to the edge of central park we've not got time to go into central park today again i've covered it before on this channel with a full video but yeah it's a one day whistle stop tour this one and so we're just going to have a little look at the side of central park over here and we're going to take a left and start walking back down towards times square and carrying on then down fifth avenue you've got trump tower just over here and yeah i believe donald's actually come out to see us as well there we go, the current US president and the former. Right here, there he is. Hey! <laughs> oh my god. I love that. Joe Biden and Donald Trump in the same that day. Is so yeah. Funny. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, Trump Tower. Just, uh, there you go, you got the Trump Cafe, the grill, home to the public. I thought we were going to come and have a look inside Trump Tower just here. It's very dull inside here. There you go, all of Trump's merchandise. We'll keep this video political free though. I say yeah. that, we've just seen the US president, but there we go. It's very nice in here though. All the flags just over here. And this on the wall, there we go. President of the United States, number 45, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. Oh my God. And you got the underground apple store just over there too. Big glass box with the apple in. I mean, we are in the big apple, aren't we? Oh God, that was so funny down there, that was. Oh, I love walking around these oh, cities. Funny. It's not when you walk around London though, you never know what you're gonna see, you know. Oh, fantastic. But uh, here we go. We're gonna be uh, leaving Fifth Avenue now. And yeah, that's the corner of Central Park just over there. Like I said, we've not got time to hire a bike or anything like I have done in the past. Um, just a quick kind of flying visit just to the corner of Central Park here. And we're gonna take a left. And we're going to start making our way back down into the main part of Manhattan. And of course, down to Times Square. So we just crossed over the road down here. And yeah, you get a fantastic view looking back at the skyline. Look at these buildings. It's so thin now, some of them. Look at that. Yeah, this is the edge of Central Park. All the ricochets down here, horse-drawn carriages. All the way down. And something that I did last time I was here was actually hired a bike uh, for a few hours and yeah, cycled around Central Park. It was absolutely freezing though. Comment down below if you've seen that video, because it was over winter. I went through and there was some massive like icicles. Like, it was so cold like on the bike. Hire bikes have a good cycle around. Isn't it? Yeah, because Central Park is massive. Yeah, I can well, of course, every time I think of Central Park, it reminds me of a certain fell. Bum, 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 <laughs> bum, 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 Alf, oh, hey. Oh, I love Alf. It's one of my favourite Christmas films. When Santa Claus landed there. Oh, no. Central Park Rangers. Oh, like, so cool. oh, here we go. Yeah, old film around here. Oh, it's gorgeous down here in Central Park. Really nice and chilled out space. And obviously, you can still hear a lot of the noise because we're on the edge of it here. But once you get into the middle, you think you're in the middle of a forest. You know, you wouldn't think you're in a big city like New York. Yeah, we're just walking along this top section just here. We've also got the zoo down there too. All sorts to see in Central Park. You can spend a good day just exploring it, to be honest. So yeah, we're just going to walk down here a little bit and take a left. Charlotte's got the elf theme bum, bum, in her head bum, still. Bum, <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bye, birdie. Bye, birdie. Hope you find your day. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> oh, look at the little turtle just there on the rocks. Very small. And there you go, a little visit there into Central Park. Only a flying stop. I didn't even know if we get time to see it today. But there you go, it's very nice down there though, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely around there. Yeah, and there you can see all the horse and carriages just here too. Horse. All the way down. So yeah, we're going to take a left, cross the street again, and head down 7th Avenue now. So we walked all the way down 5th, we're going to head down 7th. Look at them buildings just there. And all the thin ones, crazy. So yeah, here's a look at 7th Avenue. And we're going to head straight down here now, and this will lead us right down into Times Square. Continuing on now, 7th Avenue. Lots of hotels, eateries, shops. Back to the Future, the 
Ah, here we go. So yeah, we'll talk a bit more about this when we get down here. I was wondering where this was. At the time of recording, Back to the Future, the musical, my favourite show of all time, actually starts tomorrow. Like, I can't believe it. However, I've seen it in London like five or six times now. But yeah, here we go. This is where it's going to be starting from tomorrow. Let's go and have a look. So we just saw this with a massive queue and thought, let's go and check it out. The Stardust Diner just down here. Look at the queue all the way down. It must be good. Ellen Stardust Diner, yeah, typical kind of 50s style diner with singing waitresses. Very popular down here. It is part, look at the entrance, that's really cool. Fantastic. Yeah, this place is heaving. Absolutely heaving. What was that then? <laughs> so, water coming out, it actually looks like the subway. Oh, yeah, how cool is that? They're right next door. Back to the Future the Musical, here we go, now playing, well not technically no, it doesn't start until tomorrow. But yeah, this is an absolutely amazing show, it's been in London for a few years now. I actually saw it when it first launched, believe it or not, it was actually in Manchester. Um, it launched about a week before the pandemic and then yeah, it closed. I saw it in Manchester, seen it in London quite a few times and now it's coming over here and Roger Bart, who plays Doc Brown, who was in the London show and Manchester, he's actually moved out here now to perform in this. Yeah, there you go, there he is on the poster. This is an absolutely fantastic musical. For any uh, fans of Back to the Future, I definitely recommend it. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, you can see the cast just over here as well. Fantastic. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this again in London at some point. It's a brilliant musical. And yeah, opening here tomorrow night at the time of recording on Broadway. And it looks like they're opening a Back to the Future store right next door here as well. I mean, normally you've got the stores actually inside the theatres, but yeah, it looks like this is going to be accessible right next door, so that's really cool. And of course, we're arriving now down here into Times Square, the heart of New York City. And yeah, look at the screens down here, look at the Barclays screen. The quality of some of these is amazing. To make our way down here, of course, it looks great in the daytime, but at night, it really is an experience. Words can't describe it at night. And of course, Times Square, very famous for the New Year's Eve celebrations and the ball kind of dropping down. All the neon, all the lights, theatres, restaurants, bars, shops, everything around here. Bakeries. Bakeries, yeah, Carlos Bakery. Hey. You get all the massive billboards, Chick fil A just up there. Oh, we've had so many delicious meals at Chick fil A this trip. Gonna miss it. Look at all the screens. MM World over here. You got Hershey's Chocolate Wool over on the left there too. And here we are. Welcome to Times Square. Impressive to just see this in the daytime. And yeah, even though I've been here quite a few times now over the past five years or so, always impressed to be coming and seeing it. And wait until you see it at night down here. It really is an experience. And of course, your best place to get pictures and videos, just off to the right, you've actually got these steps. Just up here. The very busy steps, but you head up to the top. And what do you think of this, Charlotte? I'm literally living my inner Glee right now. <laughs> I was a huge fan of Glee, and loads of it was filmed around like New York, so it's so impressive to see it. Right, it's just mesmerizing around here. Yeah, let's go and have a look up on the steps. If we can get up there. <laughs> And here we go, this is why you want to walk up the steps, just to take it all in. Look at this. It's just so busy and it's literally like this all night. Worth pointing out, the steps do close off at midnight. So yeah, you can come up here at night, but at yeah, midnight they close off. But of course, you can walk around Times Square all night if you want to. Incredible. And yeah, this is of course where they do all the New Year's Eve celebrations here in New York City. And yeah, look at this, Harry just sitting down. I was laughing at Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. Oh, there There's they Elsa. are. Oh, look at that. There they are. <laughs> Disney characters. They have actually got a Disney store just over here as well, so have a look inside. It used to be everywhere, Disney stores, but not so much now. Yeah, it's awesome. Everybody always shows you that view, so I'm going to show you this view as well, looking back this way. Not quite as chaotic. But yeah, incredible. I like just seeing all this, and we'll show you it at night later on as well. All the billboards. Amazing, what a view. There's Donald Duck. 
Oh, look at this! I love it, just being round here, you never know what you're gonna see. Joe Biden, that's what we saw today. I, I can't believe it. Street performers. Basically, imagine Piccadilly Circus and Leicester Square and on a massive scale. Yeah, like merged together. Like, it's incredible around here. Like, look at this. Like, you just don't know what you're gonna see. It's also great if you're filming around here because they have like little podiums that you can stand on and take selfies and vlog and yeah, definitely approve of that. And you've got the Disney store just over there. You used to have a massive Disney sign at the top. I don't know if it's all boarded off because they're doing work or not. We well, yeah, have the shops open, so we're gonna have a look inside. Everything around here. You know your company's made it if you get an advertisement here in Times Square or even get a store. Some of the most expensive kind of real estate anywhere in the world around here. Yeah, as you can see, some construction going on around here. So yeah, it's blocked up at the moment. Disney store, Charlotte's excited. Let's go and get inside. Hey, there's Mickey Mouse. The Disney 100 Years of Wonder collection. Oh, I do love it in here. It brings back so many childhood memories from my local Disney store in Derby because it all used to have all this theme in and then they kind of ripped all the theming out, made them more bland and then yeah, closed lots of the stores sadly. There you got some Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort ornaments just there too. Roger Rabbit cartoon spin, Pirates of the Caribbean, Mr. Toad just there, Charlotte's favourite. You love Mr. Toad. Jungle Cruise, bought in mansion collection down here too. Yeah, quite a lot of parks merch. Oh, they've also got the new castles in here. You actually got one much closer to us there, Disneyland Paris. Love those. Oh, gorgeous. And you have the Tokyo Disney Resort just over there too. And you can head upstairs onto the Tangled themed escalator. How gorgeous is this? <laughs> How nice is this? In my opinion, it was a bad decision when Disney ripped all the theming out of the stores and closed loads of them. It was just a little bit of Disney magic that got people excited for the trips, you know. So, so, so sad that they closed a lot of the stores down. And it's pretty big downstairs. When you come upstairs, it's even bigger. Huge in here. Big collection. Character merch and, of course, park-related items too. And they've even got a Disney castle in here too. Very much inspired by the Disneyland Paris castle. Looking at the shape of the turrets on there and the window. Oh, some really nice bits in here. I love this suitcase over here. It's Figment! Hey, there he is. I'm sure we'll be seeing Figment again very soon. <laughs> oh, there we go, $199. But it looks like he's in the sales section, so I'm not too sure. Nice, that is. I need a new suitcase. Back out of the Disney store then now, fantastic in there. McDonald's just over there too. Paramount, so many hotels and look at this. Even just crossing the street is no experience here in New York. Oh blimey, anything goes around here and it's not always family friendly, I'll warn you of that one. <laughs> we also just see someone with a snake. He's got a snake on his neck. <laughs> Fantastic. You've got the ABC building just over there. Fun fact for you for any Disney fans out there. Of course, Disney own ABC. And yeah, Walt Disney Imagineering actually designed that building over there with the curvy screens that you can see. Another fun fact for you. Well, I was planning on getting a raise in canes because yeah, I absolutely love it here. I actually had one earlier in the trip. And yeah, just opened the new flagship store here on Times Square. Well, the queue is absolutely massive all the way down the side. So I don't think I'll bother. But yeah, this is their new flagship. Raging Cane's Chicken Fingers. Look at the size of them just here in the window. Crinkle cut fries. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, it is heaving in there. Absolutely heaving. Crazy, yeah, I think I'll give that one a miss. No, oh, one of the best things to do here in Times Square is just look out of the windows and people watch. We're just up here in McDonald's and yeah, look at those. To see all the cabs coming by, performers out there doing the thing, people just crossing over the road, taking photos, videos, and of course all the screens. It's nice to just take yourself out of that moment from outside for a minute and just relax in here and look out at it all. All the chaos, I love it. 
Oh, it's always getting busy now. Look at this. Whoa. I love it. Everybody just walks in New York. Look at this. Well, we're leaving the Times Square area now. And yeah, just thought I'd get in about Mission Impossible up there. New one's coming out July the 12th. Well, actually being to one of the filming locations for that. And it always ties in, doesn't it? Who remembers a couple of years ago when I went to a place called Stony Middleton back in England? Yeah, about an hour away from where we live. Or well, one of the filming locations for that film. It was right there. But so uh, yeah, it comes out. So I have to go and see that. Oh, I landed over there. Remember when that was back in London in the West End. Fantastic show. And yeah, I went to see this last year, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Absolutely brilliant that was, wasn't it? Oh, we absolutely loved it. Yeah, that's also on Broadway here. Fantastic show. Man and Tussauds, New York over there. Merlin attraction. Again, covered that before in the past. Look at this. Right, we're heading to Carlo's Bakery now, which is just down on the corner here. We love Carlo's, don't we? I'm a huge fan of this, because I used to watch Cake Boss all the time when I was younger. But the original shop's in New Jersey. It is, not too far from They're here not though. too far, so we love that. Yes, yeah, so we're heading to Carlo's. We had one in uh, Las Vegas actually, well, we had Amazing. more than one, not going to lie. We had a few of their cakes. The cream horn. The cream horn was awful. Singing, it was. <laughs> there it is, Carlo's Bake Shop over on the corner. Here it is, Carlos Bake Shop since 1910. Oh, that cake's absolutely delicious. Main guy's called Buddy, am I right in thinking? Buddy. Buddy, not Buddy the Elf. <laughs> hey, and there he is. There he is. Buddy himself. Buddy. <laughs> All his merch down here as well. Oh, these are in the program, these are. They used to make these and do them in the little boxes and the cakes. And stuff. Ooh, they look nice. Oh, they look good. There's so much choice in here. Look at these big cakes over here. Oh, wow. Look at those. Wow, look at all this in here. 9 95 for a slice. Oh, this bake shop. We're probably going to go for the red velvet, I think, down there. Or should I go for the chocolate fudge? Or the rainbow? I don't know, there's so much choice. Definitely not a cream hole, I know that. I went for the chocolate fudge cake in the end. There you go, there's Carlo on the front. Let's see what this is like. And there we go, what you got Charlotte? I got one of these butterfly like shortbread biscuits, this looks really nice. Yeah, they were like $5.50 yeah. for those. Yeah, these were just over $10, including tax. Looks delicious, fudge cake. Oh, well thanks Buddy for a delicious cake. That was really nice, I enjoyed that. How was yours Charlotte? Oh, I absolutely loved that, I really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, fantastic cakes. So nice. Oh, you could basically share one of those. I mean, I had the full one, but uh, yeah, like you could easily share those because they're so big, like I'm stuffed now. Oh, anyway, we're actually making our way to a new observation deck, which I'm really looking forward to. I only owned a few years ago. And of course, that's coming up in a separate video. That'll be next here on the Sandbrook Adventures. So of course, stay tuned for that. It'll be our final video, not just from New York, but also from our huge trip to America. Uh, and then of course, we'll pick up this later on where we'll have a look at Times Square at night and show you what it's like. And here you've got the New York Times building just over there too. So we'll see you all a little bit later on in New York. Get dark. Well, it's a few hours later from that previous clip. And yeah, we've been to the Edge observation deck, which was great. And yeah, we got some fantastic views from up there, especially of New York at night. So stay tuned for that vlog. It'll be coming up next here on the Sandbrook Adventures. And the final vlog from our USA trip. We've been here for the month and I can't believe that it's the final day. But yeah, here we go. We're making our way for one final look at Times Square. This time at night, it really comes alive in the dark. And yeah, there's the Empire State Building all lit up. Madison Square Garden just over here too. With all the lights on the side. And yeah, we're going to take a left here. And make our way down to Times Square. Here we go. Making our way around here to Times Square at night. Look at this. Really is an experience with all the lights, the neon. It's coming to see it all. It's very overwhelming. It's in the daytime. At uh, night, it really takes you to the next level. Well, what do you think to this, Charlotte? It's crazy, isn't it? There's nowhere else in the world like this. I love seeing all the theatres with the lights on. I'm going to take a left just round here into the heart of Times Square. Charlotte's dancing again over here. Aladdin. Oh, what a show. 
Oh my god, there's Spider-Man. <laughs> What an experience, the Hard Rock Cafe just off to the left there. It's the heart of it all, the lights, the screens, comedy everything. Tonight, comedy show tonight. Comedy tonight, you get handed things, all sorts. The best advice for you is don't get ripped off if you come in somewhere like this. Uh, a lot of the time there'll be people like dressed in costume characters and that kind of thing, and then they'll demand that you give them loads of money. People are like giving out CDs and saying, oh, we've signed CDs. Basically just don't trust any of these people if you come in somewhere like this. My best advice for you. Stick to the official shops. It's so busy. There's just stuff going on absolutely everywhere. Insane. Wow. Look at all those cameras. This really is an experience just walking around here seeing all this. Have you ever seen anything like this, Charlotte? Right. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> We've got some parrots over here, look at these. Look at this. We've got balloons, we got people in dresses. Are you guys ready? Massive show of some form going on down there. Are you guys ready? Thank you, one lady. Thank you. You ready, big guy? Here we go. So if you kink three bottles down, you win $20. Yeah, you want to watch out for anything like this. Probably a scam. <laughs> well, you know what? I think we need to cancel our next plans for Walt Disney World. Look at this. Mickey, Minnie, everyone's down here. And Universal, we've got Spider-Man down here as well. He's in his 50th anniversary costume. Oh, is he actually? Oh my God. Stitch over there as well, your favorite. Stitch, everybody. Oh, this is it, Times Square. Yeah, steps are all closed off tonight. Not too sure why. Look at this, all the billboards. It really is an experience coming here and just seeing this. Absolutely insane. Oh, just to say you've been to New York once in your life and come and see this. Right. There's just nowhere else in the world quite like it, it's isn't there? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Leicester Square and some like on steroids. It's crazy. Like it, it's ridiculous. Look at it. In an amazing way. Like, there's nowhere else like it. Donald Duck coming down. There is just stuff going on everywhere. It's a real kind of sensory overload. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse, everybody. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go, Times Square night. What an experience. We're making our way now back down to our hotel where we're going to wrap up this vlog here on the Sandbrook Adventures. Oh, I tell you what, we have had an epic day walking around New York City, haven't we, today? Honestly, we have done like 30,000 steps. <laughs> 30k steps in a day, it's like. It's a lot. Oh, that is madness. But I tell you what, it's nice to just come back to a relaxing, quiet hotel room after the hustle and bustle and craziness of New York City and especially around by Times Square there. Right, it was, the atmosphere was just electric around there. It was so busy. It's unlike anything you'll ever see anywhere else. And obviously, travels to a lot of places around the world and there's nowhere quite 
I like just standing there in Times Square, just seeing everything going on. It really is uh, an overload just to see it all. But I tell you what, we've done New York in a day. We've seen and done so much. And of course, in this video, you didn't even see the observation deck because that's coming up next. I mean, what a day for I'm us. I'm just so pleased with how much we managed to fit in today. Only us having a day, we've done so much. It feels like the Statue of Liberty was like ages oh ago, God, doesn't it? You know, and going on that free ferry that we did, definitely recommend doing that, the Staten Island Ferry. We did the area, of course, around um, the memorial, the 9 11 memorial, around there uh, wall street we saw all that area uh, we've just seen so much we that saw has the been, president yeah we saw the president yeah. like that that is that is ridiculous <laughs> i was not expecting that that's certainly been the highlight and we didn't think we were going to see no, the president today on the road cup. the whole rockefeller area we've been in macy's we've seen the empire state building central park we had a little walk in there honestly we've packed in a lot of major sites today which has been amazing and thank you very much for joining us um in this video for it yeah new york in a day we did something similar in london not too long ago actually just before this trip we did a bit of a london in a day and it's something we'll probably do more of actually maybe do manchester liverpool other places uh, back in the uk in a day and what that you can pack really in nice yeah different attractions as well so let us know if you've got any suggestions for that as well uh, but like i said there is one more vlog coming up from this trip and um, we've already been there and done it but it's coming up next and that's the observation tower at uh, the edge and we've got some brilliant views from up there especially at night um so stay tuned for that um coming up next but of course it's been an amazing adventure it's coming to an end uh, but honestly thanks so much for joining us for everything that we've uploaded um, this trip. Just being here in New York at the end of it all, um, it's been a perfect way uh, to wrap it up today. But uh, we saw Joe Biden, I can't believe I can't that. Believe Absolutely crazy. But thank you very much for watching and, and have your own adventures. adventures. We'll see you in the final vlog.